Hi guys, my name is Dipankar and welcome to the channel. In the previous video, we have built our custom source functionality using the list action and list filter of integration procedure. And in this particular video, we are gonna uh, make it a step ahead and we can see how instead of these blocks, we can build our custom functionality using a read block, right? So let me type my name over here. And what this will do is particularly it will filter out all the contacts whose first name contains the conquer, right? So if I click on get data, you can see it has two contacts and both of them name as the conquer. And if I don't give anything, it should fetch all the 10 contacts over here, right? So basically this configuration using is done using a block and now we are going to convert this into an edit block so let's go to put the design panel and if you see this is particularly an omniscript block right so basically we are now going to uh, try how we can convert this functionality into an edit block so for the first thing we need to do is to create a new version over here so that we can go back and see our previous uh, works as well right and now let's go over here the first thing I'm going to do is to rename this block because we know that we are using the contact details node over here to pre-populate the data, right? So again, I'll go to the build panel and search for edit block, right? And I'll drag it over here and I'll rename it to contact details, right? I'll also select allow clear over here and deselect allow new and the next thing I am going to click on this pencil icon so in this icon now we can drag and drop our elements so let's drag the same elements from block to this edit block right the first name and let's try to drag the last name I'll drag email then I'll drag phone and finally the contact ID and now let's deactivate this block because we are not using it right and again let's go and configure it let's say the maximum number of elements let's make it to five and let's go and select the elements inside block and particularly we are not interested in displaying the contact id right so let's deselect it and make it to four and we are not going to create or update any records so i am not going to configure this new options right and if you want to know how you can configure this new edit and delete options you can go and watch my previous video in which i have explained everything about edit block right so i think this is all uh, all we need to do so let's go to preview and see i'll just come over here and copy the context id and I'll come to this new version and paste this context ID over here. So basically, if you see, you are getting all the 10 contacts over here. And now if I search my name, right, then we click on get data, I get those two contacts. And if I write only D and click on get data, I get all the contacts whose name is having D, right? And if you don't write anything and click on get data, I get again all the 10 contacts, right? So I think this is all about the custom source functionality and implementation of edit block. And this is not a perfect example, but yeah, you can try and you can improve this uh, example as well. So that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.